The Great Sage's Broken Shell marks the second phase of the Stone Monkey battle, kicking off right after you take down the Stone Monkey in the Birthstone region. The good news is that once you conquer the Stone Monkey, you won't have to face him again. If you happen to fall to the Great Sage's Broken Shell, he will still be waiting for you when you respawn, allowing you to restart the second phase each time. In essence, the Great Sage's Broken Shell is a manifestation of Son Wukong himself, or at least a part of him, this opponent mirrors your armor, spells, stances, and abilities, employing them in rapid succession to try and overwhelm you. Expect clever tactics like sneaky uses of rock solid and a flurry of heavy attacks executed through various stances. Once you deplete the Great Sage's initial health bar, you'll enter the second phase of the battle. In this stage, you'll lose access to Sun Wukong's special heavy attack and the ability to accumulate a fourth focus point without it diminishing. However, the overall dynamics of the fight remain largely unchanged. One key aspect to keep in mind is healing. If you use your gourd at a certain point, a scripted event will occur where the Great Sage snatches your gourd, takes a sip, and then hands it back, resulting in a loss of one gourd charge while he gains a bit of health. It's a neat moment, but it's not a major concern as long as you have a gourd stocked with healing charges. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on Black Myth Wukong and other exciting games.
You must have heard tales about him. Some say he helped Tung Monk fetch the scriptures, was granted Buddhahood, and stayed on Mount Lingshan thereafter. Some say it was not him who was granted Buddhahood. The real him was already dead on the journey to the West. Some say that the journey never happened. He is nothing but a monkey who lives in some storyteller's tall tale. <laughs> but now... You will hear a tale which no one has ever known.